What's up, my love? Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your body rush. You can follow me on my socials. Basically, follow me on Instagram at the Follow me on TikTok at the last Follow me on Snapchat at the last So, without further ado, basically, today I'm going to be answering some hot seat questions. And yeah, um, basically, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, can you subscribe, subscribe to the channel? If you're a channel subscriber, welcome back. So, yeah, basically, I'm going to start with the first question right off the Boat. Okay, so um, what are the three things you look for in a significant other? Um, the first thing, loyalty. That's like a very huge thing for me. Second, trust. Yeah. The third one, um, love, caring, understanding, giving. <laughs> yeah, and all those. So, okay. The second is. If you could have a romantic dinner with a famous person, who would that person be? Um, romantic dinner with a famous person. Uh, I'd choose Ty Dolla Sign or a Gastel Sina between the two. Because I have a crush. Like, it's not a crush, like a childhood crush. Yeah. Like, I used to crash on Tidal last time when I was a kid. I used to crash on Agasta when I was a kid. So, yeah, basically, yeah, uh, to all of them. If there are 25 hours in a day, how would you spend that extra hour? Um, I think just sleeping. I would prefer it to be like the extra hour to be at night so that you can just continue sleeping. Yeah. So, okay. What is the one thing that makes the future scary for you? Um, honestly, if you uh, if you have like asked me this question like a few months ago, I would have told you I'm very scared of not making it, like being a failure in life. But I am very um, confident in myself. And I do know what I shall make it. So apparently right now I have no fears. The only fear that I have is not being close to God. And that's something I can never, ever, ever do. So yeah. Um, what are the top five things on your bedroom or outside your bedroom bucket list? I'm not going to answer... Um, top five things on my bedroom list instead I'm going to answer on my bucket list so um, on my bucket list um, the first thing is I would like to surf second thing I would like to go bungee jumping third thing I would like to go for zip lining the fifth thing I would like to go for um, I think Maybe hiking, yeah. I like to go. I used to hike like a few years back, but then I stopped. But yeah, I would like to like do it again. It's really, really something good when you, when you have like the right um, company by your side. So yeah, um, how many people are in your people I slept with list? Um, I'm not going to answer that question honestly. And not just because that it's a lot, just because it's unlady unladylike to answer that to answer me to, or to be asked that question. So yeah. Um how do you tell your partner that you love them without saying I love you? Um I think maybe like take care and be safe those are like the other love languages if you don't want to say like i love you just like let's say you you guys were talking and just like take care of it you know or just you know be safe yeah i think that also kind of indicates the same thing <laughs> i don't know what do you guys think comment down below let me know uh-huh so it's just that I'm honestly struggling to read because I see some questions are like kind of blurry. So yeah, um, what's 
What do you say was the weirdest dream you had about someone inappropriate? Honestly, I don't be dreaming. I don't know if like this is factual, but or maybe like I usually wake up and like forget my dreams instantly. But I rarely, rarely dream. This is just for a fact. Like I don't know why, but like yeah, I just really, 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 really dream. So yeah. What is the one sexual activity you'd consider a hundred percent off limits? I think maybe golden showers and yeah, golden showers. Anna, um, yeah, those are actually my. Oh, and you know, like sexual group stuff. I don't like that. So yeah, I think those three. Um, last or love at first sight? I don't believe in love at first sight just because that is totally last. You cannot just look at someone and be like, oh my god, that's the love of my life. That's crazy. You're crazy. So, yeah, I do believe in. I, I'm just going to pick last only because I don't believe there's something like love at first sight that exists. Yeah. Giving gifts or receiving gifts? Um, I think both because I like giving gifts and I mean obviously I would like to feel appreciated so I also like receiving gifts so for me it's both. Out of your contact list who would you pick to enjoy a romantic time in a soaking tub with? Um, mostly my man. I don't, yeah, that's the only person that I would pick, like, you know, to go on like a romantic date with, such kind of things. Um, what's something you've been secretly wanting your partner to do? I'm just not going to. <laughs> Oh my god, I cannot answer this on camera, but several things. Just because we are like LDR, so yeah, but like several things. What what are the top three greatest disappointments that have happened in your life so far? Yeah. Huh? Disappointments has it me cooler. So, um, honestly, the one thing that I've been disappointed in is the fact that I can, I'm very bad at managing my money. Um, second thing, I, just that I never, I was so disappointed with how wild the world is and how people are when you grow up and you just realize that people are not as innocent as you think when you're a kid. You get to me. So, yeah. And I'm yet to wait for my third one, so... I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to update you all when that comes along. So two more last questions. Um, what's the best piece of advice that's changed your view on life? The best piece of advice that changed my view on life is the fact that life is just always going to be life. There's always going to be good, there's always going to be bad. And the fact that a lot of bad things are what like a lot of bad things happen to us right and you may just think that oh my god it's only like bad things happen but at the end of the day i also came to realize that you know what the best piece of advice is just be with god trust in god and just give him your life because that's the best decision you can ever make and with that we are going to end the video here so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this hot set and I love y'all and just um, keep subscribing and bye.